Hello everyone. In this video I'll show you how to use ASP.NET validation. Okay. So here is our form and uh, it has got few text boxes in it. So what we'll do is that uh, okay without entering any data I'm just going to hit on the end register button and let's see what happens. Well, we got a message saying that the registration was successful even though we did not enter any values in this. So how do we fix that? Okay. I'll just close this one. I'll go to the design view. I'll go to the toolbox and uh, there is a control called as uh, required field validator. So what we do is we simply click on that and drag it onto our form. Okay. So we do that for our text boxes and this thing will just simply do the job for us. No writing any codes, no writing any nasty uh, JavaScript codes, no nothing. All you need to do is just drag and drop and ASP.NET will do everything for you. We can align it here. You can also use your arrow keys to do that. Okay, now we'll just set after dragging it onto the form, we'll just set some properties. So what we need to do here is tell this control to validate this text box. Tell this control to validate this text box. Okay. We'll click on this one and we'll just go to the properties of, of this one. We'll set the error message for this one, what the error message should come if the user does not type anything in this. Okay, we'll just say uh, enter user ID and we'll set the control to validate as we want the user ID to be validated for this one. That one is done. Now I'll set the password. I'll say enter the password and I will con I'll set the control to validate property as password and I'll do the same thing for this one uh, I'll say re-enter password okay likewise I'll just do this one here okay now this one is set I will just save it I'll get rid of this property window I'll just expand this one a little bit so that I get proper alignment on the text okay now so this one is done I'll save this one again I'll go to the file menu and view in browser I can also hit the F5 or the play button then it will open a new window if you want the browser if you want your browser to be appear or your internet explorer to appear in the same IDE we can do that okay now here's our form and it has the validation done so what we'll do okay what we'll do now is without entering anything just hit on the register button and let's see if it validates or not well I got a message here saying that enter user ID enter the password and re-enter the password so what, what I'll do is that I'll just enter a password after that's my name okay as you see as I move away the error messages goes out see how dynamic ASP.NET is I'll just enter a password okay and password again and then hit register the registration is successful well see ASP.NET made sure that the registration was successful with the user ID and password. Well, that's it. Now, I'm, I'm also going to show you how we can validate email, how we can validate website, and how it is done. I'm going to show you in my next video. Please watch my next video. Thank you very much.